Hello and welcome back to the video. So as you can see behind me, I've finished the initial build of the cupboards. So today is me finishing all the side trims off that go along the side of the wardrobe and above the shelves where the coven will eventually sit. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'll show you the process that I'm doing that as well. Just a quick reminder as well, if you're enjoying the video, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. So I'm just going to do some close ups of progress so far. This is the corner piece that I built yesterday. And to show you inside, it's quite a big amount of space up here. Now I'll put that little piece in there just so, so it kind of matches the flow of the wardrobe because we're not going to have doors on top of here. So I just thought it, it looked a bit neater and it kind of divides the space up a little bit. Yeah, as I said, now I'm going to be fitting the pieces on the side. So I need to measure and cut those just so it all will eventually look built in. So the next problem that I do have is we have a plug socket down here. So I need to try and, I think I've got an idea in my head of how to do it. Um, but we'll see, because obviously this will have to be covered. I think I'm gonna put a piece of wood up to here and then the remaining piece, I think it may be either put it on a hinge so it can open up or, or something like that. I don't know, I'm, I need to decide. But I'll show you once I've made a decision. Alright, so that first piece is cut and measured and it's halfway in now. I haven't put it all the way in just in case I can't get it back out. But you can kind of see my idea of it now. Just to blend it in with the wall. And hopefully it will look built in once I've finished. Right, so we have lots of measurements and recutting. That one's finally in. Not fitted yet, but... As you can see it fits. Right, so I've cut a few blocks of wood. Um, the plan is to screw one of these onto there like that and then eventually that will then be supported and hopefully line up with the wall. So that's the plan. What? We shouldn't have bothered them. Okay, so what I've done here is I've just put a bit of masking tape and marked out the top and bottom position of the block. So obviously I don't want to hit the screw from the inside. So I'm just going to fix this in now and then that one will be pretty much done. Okay, so the next step was to add the coven. Um, here you can see I'm just using some grab adhesive to stick it to the wall. And then as after this, we're pretty much ready to start painting the wardrobe. I've said this in previous videos, but the coven we're using is from B&Q. It's a pre-cut pack that you can buy, um, and we just find that it's a lot easier to, to do it like that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Can I feed around the month? Why not? Uh, so as you can see, I've started to fit the curve in on this side. Um, it's going better than I planned. Yeah, so I had to take into account um, the curve in, which is why I stopped the shelving at the top here. Um, I know we could have got a, a little bit more space if I didn't do that, but we like to have curve in, we think it looks nice, so that's what we've chose to do. So now all that's left to do is to, to fill in all the screws um, so you can't see them and then we've just got to paint it. Okay, so this is the paint we're using. Um, it's a good home durable wood and metal brilliant white paint in eggshell. Um, we're not sponsored or anything, just, just so you know in case you want to try this yourself. We're going to do that now and then see how that looks. Hopefully it turns out alright. So the wardrobe is pretty much finished now. Um, we're really happy with how it's looking um, at the minute. We've done a few coats on the cupboards um, and it's come out really nice. So all that's left to do is to add some handles onto the doors and then it will be finished. Um, so this is where we're going to finish the video today. Keep an eye out for our future videos finishing off the dressing room. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Cheers.